like the video, but it sounded like the family uh, got to break the news to you. Yeah, well, it was uh, it was really cool. So last night uh, when I got home, I, I beat my family home by just a little bit, and mm -hmm. um, they came in, and the doorbell rang, and so I went to the the door to see who it was and it was my kids they had they had stopped by the store and picked up a bunch of balloons and things like that and so I opened the door and they were just they were so fired up for me they're like dad we're going to Las Vegas you know they were all excited and um, you know it was just kind of funny you know they have no idea what Las Vegas means but they were fired up and and so was I so it was really cool to uh, to get to share you know that that moment with them and after 10 years in the league you think something like that might be coming your way are you just quietly doing your job and that, you're, you're exactly right there, d -Led. It's just quietly doing my job. I mean, that's the approach that I've taken since my, the, you know, first day of my rookie year uh, here was just, you know, do good today so hopefully they'll bring me back tomorrow and just kind of keep plotting away and, and just do my job. You know, this, the, the position, you know, doesn't get, doesn't get a whole lot of recognition uh, as a whole. And so for the most part, that's a good thing, um, you know, and so it was just one of those things that it, it was cool to uh, – to see, you know, to get some some positive recognition where normally it's, you know, when things go wrong, that's the only time, uh, you know, they talk about the, the snapper position, but uh, just really cool experience. Uh, I asked uh, Marquise this earlier today, and I was kind of asking you about, like, how you kind of have this longevity in the league and, and kind of been doing this for as long as you have, and he kind of was talking about your mental preparation and just kind of how that's something he admires about you, and I was just kind of curious if you could kind of walk me through what your weekly preparation looks like? I know it's something that not a lot of people know kind of yeah. what goes into that. Um, I mean, as, as the week goes on, I mean, when we start, Wednesday is usually our, our coverage day where, you know, we're talking about punt. We go through punt and practice, kickoff, things like that. You know, that's when we'll get some field goal work in as well. So as far as the physical, you know, practice, you know, Wednesday is probably the heaviest day. Uh, Thursday, I'll snap a little bit more with the, you know, with the scout teams, giving our return team some looks. And then Friday is kind of a culmination of, of all of those. And then um, you know, Saturday more walkthrough, and then obviously the game on Sundays. But um, from from the mental perspective, you know, I think a lot of it comes from you know the preparation that you put in in the off season, and you know just the work that you put in during the week and training camp and things like that. Where uh, you know when you're in those moments, when you're in the game, you know you're not necessarily worried about you know what's happening. You have a job to do, just like anybody else does out there. And so uh, preparation is the key, and trusting your training so that when you're out there, you're not you know, I guess limited by what you're looking for or wondering what's going to happen. You've, uh, you know, you've put in the time and uh, it's something that you can fall back on and trust. And I know, uh, last, last one for oh yeah, yeah. Just like uh, your group dynamic with, with Thomas and, and Young White, can you kind of speak to that and kind of what the, this threesome of you guys is like? Yeah, well, I mean, I can't speak highly enough for, for either one of those guys. I mean, Thomas obviously has had an incredible career and you know, we've laughed that I didn't think that we would, I would ever be snapping to him in a, in a Falcons uniform, you know, and stuff like that. But it's been great to have him and his leadership in the room as well, you know, to, to help with uh, just the bond and what we have going on the field, off the field. And, you know, with Koo, I mean, the guy's earned everything that, that's, come, that's come his way. And, you know, he's done nothing but work his tail off to, to be the best version of himself. And um, he does that each and every day on the field, off the field with everything, you know, that he does. And so it's really no surprise at all for him to see the success that, uh, that he's having and also the success that Thomas is having. Cool. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Josh. All right. Yep. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.